to have you here. You've come to a great occasion, a brass note dedication for Jimmy Griffin, something that's been long in the making. I've worked on this for a couple of years, and I will say, I won't use the word lobby, but I will say there's been such an outpouring of fan and family appreciation. This is a man who's, whose work is monumental. It, it's local, national, international, and there's a lot of love around this body of work and this talent. So this is a great day. My name's Ken Hall, uh, representing Performer today. We've got a brief ceremony here, which I hope you'll all enjoy. And then afterward, we're very excited to have some live music down at Alfred's. Uh, Jamie is going to perform. So this is something that we don't uh, often get to do uh, with the, the folks that we honor. So many of them go back years and years. But we're very happy to have uh, living friends, family, and relatives right here today. It adds a really nice dimension to it. I want to kick off today's proceedings by bringing up Dr. Richard Rana. He's Dean of the College of Communications and Fine Arts with the University of Memphis and is on the note selection committee that uh, selected this honoree. Dr. Rana, would you come up and tell us a little bit about the program? Hey, Sneaky, you got to watch Yeah, you have to watch his deans. Uh, Right now, we have over 100 notes on this street. There's a committee of citizens, those of us who are involved with the uh, various music establishments in the city. Myself, a member of the Recording Academy, for example, as well as being the dean of a fine arts college with the Shite School of Music. And there are representatives throughout, over a dozen of us, who get together and select each year about 12 honorees to go onto this street. It's a very difficult task to do because there are so many people in this great historic city and on this street who are well deserving of the awards. After all, it is the birthplace of rock and roll, the home of the blues, and many other forms of music have come out of this place. But if you go up and down the street, you'll see these notes and all the various names that you see along here are people who have been important to this street and important to Memphis music. And it's kind of like if you go along Hollywood Boulevard, you see the, the stars in the streets out there in Los Angeles. This is the equivalent of that. So it's a terrific honor for someone to have a brass note here perpetuated on this great historic street forever. This is one of the places, when everybody thinks about Memphis, they think about Beale Street, Graceland, places like that, Stacks. And so being immortalized here is a very important thing, and we want to uh, uh, give our best to the family and all who are here today, and we are very proud to be able to have Jimmy join the over 100 people who are being immortalized in this street. Ken, what's up next? Moving to, to our next phase, uh, we're going to have a few words. Uh, Jamie and Katie, somewhere nearby, come on up and... I just wanted to say a few words about my sheer appreciation of having a father quite like Jimmy Griffin. He shows me an example while he's with me of how to be a father, which makes me a good father to my son. His compassion and heart. I've never known anybody else with a compassion quite like his towards other people. And uh, more than anything, my right, I feel him. And that's all I can. It's a great, great man.